Christian here. So in this video, I wanted to go over a DSP and um, some DSP troubleshooting steps you can take um, when you're recording in console or Luna. Some typical problems you might run into, especially if you're new to UAD and um, the concept of DSP. So basically what DSP is, is and this is a, a reason a lot of people uh, buy uh, UAD interfaces, is because they have what are called DSP chips built into them. So what DSP chips are, are basically like little CPUs, like in your computer. So like for, for example, um, I have an Apollo Twin here that it's a, an Apollo Twin quad, and by quad they mean there's four DSP chips in it, okay? And I've also got a uh, X6, which has six DSP chips in it, okay? And each of those chips can run a certain number of UAD plugins on them. Um, they'll only run UAD plugins. They won't run, you know, other plugins from other third-party companies like Waves. The nice thing about DSP is that when you're running a session, um, you're taxing your computer CPU less because you're offloading some of that DSP um, processing power to your UAD interfaces. Anyways, um, that's the basic concept behind DSP, um, which is stands for Digital Signal Processor. Okay, so they're just little, think of them as little CPUs, okay? So um, coming over here into, um, I think the best way to kind of visualize how this works is to start with the console, okay? So um, I have console loaded up here. I also have the UAD control panel open and I have it um, on the system info tab. So this is gonna show all of my devices. So you'll see here I have my X6 and you'll see down here I have my quad, my Apollo Twin, twin quad and it shows all of the DSP chips here. One, two, three, four, five, six for my X6 and one, two, three, four for my quad. And it shows some statistics in here um, for example, here you can see in the DSP row, um, the DSP chip number four is almost maxed out. It's at 98.7, right? The reason is, is because I'm actually using that to, to uh, on this channel strip here, analog one, um, I have all of these plugins loaded and I'm actually talking through um, an Avalon um, Unison preamp here and I've got some other plugins loaded. And so those are taking up all the DSP on chip number four. Um, I'm going to show you, um, I have a stereo uh, channel here, analog 3.4. I'm going to show you a, a problem you uh, might typically run into when you're using console or Luna. Um, I'll, sh I'll demonstrate this in Luna too after this, but it's, it's easier to understand it if you look at it in console. So this channel strip here, Basically, um, by default, all of the plugins that you load into a single channel strip in console, they all have to fit onto one DSP chip. So I, I made this little chart here. Um, I took this uh, information from the UAD website and I just sorted it by basically the, the ones here in red at the top. Um, these are the most uh, power hungry DSP uh, plugins. Okay, uh, so like for example, Capital Chambers, if you load a single instance of Capital Chambers, the plugin, it will take up 74% of a single DSP chip. This is running at uh, 44.1K, okay? And uh, it just kind of goes on down. I, I, um, I'll put a link to this, um, this sorted Excel file that I created. And uh, it's nice to have uh, just to know which plugins um, take up what percentage of CPU, and you can plan your sessions accordingly. Okay, so um, in this case, um, we have an SSL channel strip here. It, it says it takes up 70% for a stereo track. Okay, so let's bring back up console. So I'm gonna go ahead on this stereo track here, I'm gonna load the SSL channel strip. Okay, and that loads up just fine. And let's see, where did it go? So if you look over here at DSP uh, chip number five, you'll see that the DSP is now up to 70%. So it loaded 
this instance of the SSL plugin on DSP chip number five. Now I'm going to copy that and just paste it onto another slot here. And you're going to see I get the uh, DSP overload pop up here, which you may be familiar with. Um, and it doesn't quite make sense at first because if you look here at your DSP um, statistics in the control panel here, you'll see that your DSP is only at 23%. So it doesn't make sense. Why, why can't you, you should be able to load plenty of these on this channel. Well, the problem is, is that because each one of these takes up 70% of a DSP chip, it won't all fit onto one chip. So the, the console is saying, Hey, you can't, you can't do that because, um, there's not enough, uh, room on this chip to load that. Now there, uh, there's the solution to that is DSP pairing. What DSP pairing allows you to do is share uh, space on um, two different chips for one channel. So when you enable DSP sharing, you can have more than one um, high DSP plugin on on a single channel. So let me let me get rid of that, and I'm gonna go into settings here, and I'll show you right now. On my X6, I have, if you go here down to DSP sharing, um, you can, you can specify how many DSP pairs you want. So right now I only have it set to one. And actually this channel strip here is actually using the first pair. So since that pair is all being used up on that channel, this ch uh, channel, this stereo channel over here doesn't have uh, DSP pairing enabled on it because there's not enough DSP pairs. So what you can do is just move it up, bump it up to two. So now I have two DSP chairs. Uh, so now I have two DSP pairs. So now, theoretically, I should be able to load another one, another SSL on here without a problem. And there you go. It loaded fine. So now I have two SSLs on there. So it's basically sharing, this channel is now sharing the load of the DSP across two different chips, but it allows you to um, have more powerful channel strips. Okay, but so with these two SSL uh, plugins, I've reached the maximum because each one of them takes up 70% um, and we're only sharing across two DSP chips. Um, we, we won't be able to add another one on top of that because each channel can only use a single DSP pair. Okay, so this, so I've hit my limit on this single channel. So you see that there's a limitation per channel, how many um, DSP heavy plugins you can have. But if, if I were to do this instead, um, take this and copy it across channels, you see, I can have many of these SSL uh, plugins. You'll see my DSP up oh, there. I hit the, I hit a limit there, but you'll see you'll see there my DSP went up. But I, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine SSLs loaded in here, and that makes sense because I have about I actually have ten I have ten D DSP chips available to me across my X six and my twin, so because the SSL takes up so much um, on each chip, I can only load nine of them. Um, I, I, w I can only load nine of them currently with all these other plugins open on here on the channel one. So that's basically how the DSP works inside of console. And console is always um, providing the lowest possible latency. So in essence, the console is continuously using accelerated real-time monitoring inside of it, okay? Um, so this provides you the, the lowest possible latency when you're uh, monitoring through these channels. This is a little bit different than in Luna where you can enable or disable that real-time monitoring feature. I'll show you. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to leave console open here. And I'm going to load up Luna. And I'm going to show you another situation uh, where you might um, have a problem. 
uh, where you where you're coming coming up with DSP load and you don't know why because it seems like if you're using Luna, um, it might seem like well, I'm not using all of my DSP resources even on a single channel. So why adding the DSP overload? And I'll show you um, the cause of that in some cases. Okay, so um, you'll see here over to the left, I've got the uh, Luna mixer open, right? I have a single track here. Um, I also still have the console open and the console um, still has all those SSLs open in it. Okay, so for the sake of this demo, I turned off the DSP on my quad here. You can turn that off right there. That way it'll only use resources from my X6 here. And I'm going to go ahead and try and load up, load up I'm going to go ahead and try to load up just a single SSL in Luna right here, okay? And you'll see I get the pop-up the uh, that I've exceeded resources, which if I wasn't already if I wasn't already aware that all these SSL uh, channels were open in console, I would be confused because I would think, well, why can't I load a single SSL? plug-in on a single track in Luna. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I should have way more power than this. Uh, even with just my X6 turned on, my, my DSP is only at 56%. I should be able to load at least a single plug-in in Luna. And that's, um, w this, this causes some confusion. If, if you're going back and forth between console and Luna, or even if you if you loaded up a bunch of stuff in console when you first got your UAD Apollo and you just forgot about it, so you've got all those uh, plugins still loaded in there, and they'll be loaded in there even if you close console. So if I quit console and I remove the SSL and I try it again, it's still even with console, the program closed, the the, those SSLs are still actually loaded onto your Apollo device. So they're still using DSP resources, even though the, the program console is not open. So it, that's not immediately obvious sometimes. So if you're ever having DSP issues, make sure you go into your console and make and check that you have nothing loaded in there. So I'm just going to go back to console here and... I'll realize I have all of this stuff loaded, right? So um, there's a couple ways you can achieve this. Uh, you could just go file new in console and that will clear the whole thing out. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually using this channel here and I don't want to get rid of those plugins. So I'll just, uh, here, actually, I'll just do remove and just swipe across here to remove all those. There we go. So now, I'm going to try it again, load up my SSL, aha, so now I've got it. Now actually in Luna, I can actually load more of these SSL channel strips into a single track. So these, these tracks are different than the channels in console, because I can actually load... Um, Let's see, I can load a few of these in here. So in Luna, I can load four of these in here before, if I try to load another one, um, then I'll get an overload. So Luna allows you um, to add more, but if I click here and turn on input monitoring, it pops up again. And you'll see that two are uh, in the red here as disabled because it's using accelerated real-time monitoring now, just like console is, just like console does. So I'm only allowed to use two because I can only fit two across a single DSP pair. So I could just, um, if, if I'm just mixing and I'm not using input monitoring or recording, um, I can use double the amount inside of Luna here. So um, basically, so if you go into Luna Preferences, 
you'll see that the, the settings in here look just like console settings. So basically when you're using Luna, it kind of takes over the functionality of console. And you'll see, so you can control the, the DSP pairs in here. Uh, you can control input delay compensation. Uh, you can control your IO and, and uh, your metering, etc. But when you're inside of Luna, anyways, you just come down here to settings and that's where your DSP channels you can specify. Um, if you want, you can have a bunch of DSP channels. Um, it, it's just when you enable more DSP channels, you lose virtual channels. Um, so you won't have vir extra virtual channels for routing. And I'll go over virtual channels in a different video. So just to recap, if you're having problems with DSP inside of um, console or Luna, um, a few things you could, should check is your DSP pairing. Make sure you have your DSP um, pairing set the way that you, you think you actually have it. Um, check if you're re using Luna and you're having DSP problems, check console, make sure you don't have plugins loaded into console that you didn't realize you had in there. Uh, make sure you get rid of all of those. Always check the UAD control panel and meter. Um, it, it'll give you details on how much DSP and memory you're, you're using. And um, in the system info, it'll give you detailed information per chip on how much DSP you're currently utilizing. And if everything looks good in here, um, next step is try re rebooting Luna or re um, console. If that doesn't work, um, try restarting the computer. If restarting the computer, um, after that, and you've gone through all the other troubleshooting steps and you're still having DSP problems loading plugins, try reinstalling all your software from scratch and see if that helps. If not, then contact UAD support, or if you're a member of my UAD Luna class, you can send me a, a message directly and I'll help you out. So um, that's it for this video, and um, I'll see you uh, next time. Aloha.